Yes, sir. So we back with another clip from a super liberal toxic site, TYT Sports. And they basically have a problem with Andrew Wiggins. They're basically saying that he gets rejected by the NBA. Basically, he can't be exempt from taking the jab for religious reasons. And these super liberal toxic sites that would glorify these athletes last year for saying something against Trump or saying something against police brutality or defund the police, all of those virtue signals, they would have been glorifying them, saying, yes, they are on the right side of history. But now, since they're going against the narrative, they're going against the script, they're trying to create their own narrative. Now they have to go at them. Now they have to question their beliefs and all of this bullshit when just not too long ago you were calling all of these guys role models. They're making a change. They're taking a stand against this, that, and the third when that's a part of the narrative. But now since this is going against the tide, going against the go along to get along gang, everybody has something to say against the black man that is thinking for himself. Let's check it out. It's going to start off in the hospital. Isn't it ironic that they tried to tell everybody who knows a close family member that went to the hospital? They told all of you that you couldn't go there. But you mean to tell me they have a full camera crew inside of these rooms with all of these old individuals? Let's just see who these individuals or quote unquote actors are. Let's check it out. In your stomach. That's the so the female that's with this quote-unquote patient asked her why do you lie on your stomach and she's replying it's the best thing for me to keep my lungs clear i guess yeah i guess i uh, these stories are becoming the norm. I immediately asked Christopher, why hadn't he gotten the vaccine? I'm more of a libertarian, and I don't like being told what I have to do. And sadly, completely avoidable. I mean, I don't know. So this man is, he has an oxygen mask hooked to him, a middle age out of shape Caucasian man who pretty much is, looks like he's in his 40s to 50s. And who was the one prior to this? An senior citizen, older Caucasian female. So that makes two Caucasians that we've seen in this scene. You mean to tell me this man has enough time to do an interview? Does that make any sense to you? How close I am to being a lot worse, I really don't know. Christopher Green died nine days after this interview. But again, you know, it's not solely vaccine based. And then you play Donald J. Trump, who would probably say, that's fake news. <laughs> With the flood of misinformation spurred by an insurrectionist where study after study concludes Donald John Trump, a man who tried to overthrow democracy, was and remains the biggest threat to prolonging a pandemic that has killed nearly 700,000 Americans. It's gotten tougher. I don't want to live. All of these damn middle-aged Caucasian dudes who are definitely out of shape, who are not running any laps anytime soon, are the ones that you are putting up as proof that this COVID thing is real. We're not saying that it's not. But dude, the proof is in the pudding as to who it's affecting. You can see it right in your face. Middle-aged to older age Caucasians who are out of shape. That's what I'm viewing right now. That's what they're telling me. I'm not seeing any mix. I'm just going off of what I'm seeing on this clip. Dudes with double and triple chins who are talking about they're not vaccinated and whatnot, according to the script. So all the out of shape Caucasian males, 30 plus or whatever it is, be on the lookout. That's basically what this clip is telling me. Continued his illogical, flat out insane anti-vax rhetoric because in short, this is his base. This is his fanatic loyalist who follows every word. I'm upset at myself because I did not get vaccinated. I just, I've never hurt like I've hurt. I mean, damn, how old is this woman? They actually have the time to be talking about the vaccine, this, that, and the third, when they don't know if they are gonna see tomorrow. Does this make any sense, people? Where are the visitors? Where are the families? The people that were denied access to even visit their close ones when they had contracted the COVID-19. It's made a believer out of me. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. 
Is it or is it a pandemic of the unvaccinated, out of shape, older age Caucasians that smoke cigarettes, that don't exercise, that are sitting on the couch watching sports, all of these news sites? With all this information and the vaccines not only being safe, but severely effective in fighting against the coronavirus, there's still plenty within the United States who remain hesitant. The result, more people needlessly dying. Thus, we turn to 26-year-old Golden State Warriors swingman Andrew Wiggins. Per NBC Sports Bay Area's Monty Pool, Wiggins said he won't get vaccinated unless I'm forced to. So you want to jump to Andrew Wiggins, you want to point out his age, that being 26, but you never pointed out the ages of those individuals prior to this. All of those out of shape Caucasians and then that one female who was definitely out of shape and older age, probably smoking Marlboros. You never brought up any of their ages. Why? You're going to bring up an NBA player, modern day gladiator, 26 years old, in better shape than all of them put together, can run fast and jump high, tip top shape, has doctors, physicians, specialists that get paid in the high numbers. You mean to tell me that this man has to worry about something that has to do with his health? Come on, man. Wiggins has, to this point, decided against getting the vaccine, a league source told ESPN, confirming a San Francisco Chronicle report. Let's go over why this is incredible. Look at this dweeb. Looking just like the regular liberal Caucasian male that's at these protests and whatnot talking about Black Lives Matter. Look at this goofball. Bunch of nerds that are scared for their life because the government is their daddy. Now they want to go against any NBA male, specifically the black male that is speak that is thinking for himself because that will corrupt the minds. God forbid. Be problematic for Steph Clay. Look at this dweeb's background. Is he trying to show us that he's hip, down for the cause, that he can think for us? Because that's what the liberal Caucasians do all the time. They want to think for you, black man. They want you to just talk about sports music. What's your favorite rap song? If you're talking about anything else, now it's time to just be quiet, just a tad bit. Black star, he got this goofball bobblehead of Colin Kaepernick. We already see these super liberal Caucasians just like this. Bunch of nerds, man. They got to stay where they at. This is none of their business. If you got anything to say that's against the tide, red alert. Golden State. Due to San Francisco's COVID protocols for attending large indoor gatherings and events within the city where the Chase Center is located, a person must be vaccinated unless they have a religious or health exemption to enter the building. Here's the thing though, Wiggins, who has said he will not get the vaccine unless forced to, tried his hand at a religious exemption. The NBA denied his request over the weekend. The NBA informed teams earlier this month that they will have to follow local vaccine laws. Only two league cities had such laws requiring all employees to be vaccinated for large indoor events, San Francisco and New York City. Two of the most toxic cities in this society. It doesn't surprise me. In March, Wiggins spewed to each his own, really. Whoever wants to get it can get it. Whoever doesn't want to get it, don't get it. Right now, I'm not getting it, but it's no knock on anyone else that's getting it. I make my own decisions, but right now, I decided not to get it. Another variable, the players' union successfully fought to ensure the league won't impose a vaccine mandate, which is another argument for another day. However, teams can generally fine players for missing practices and games. Wiggins' decision remains... Well, illogical. He played in Minnesota with NBA Rookie of the Year and two-time All-Star Carl Anthony Towns. You may recall the heartbreaking story of Towns losing his mother, plus six members. Yeah, put the emphasis on that number. Six. Mm-hmm his family to COVID. How Wiggins is not empathetic to this is beyond troubling. Vaccines make people less likely to contract coronavirus. The times vaccinated people contract coronavirus, the vaccine makes them less likely to have severe outcomes. Vaccines make people less likely to spread the coronavirus. And in the case of Wiggins, a vaccine would also protect. Well, why isn't the vaccine less likely to contract what you're trying to prevent, asking for a friend. Is $31,579,390 salary. To their credit, the Warriors connected Wiggins with an Oakland doctor who understands issues surrounding vaccine hesitancy. Even after hearing out someone who specializes in the field, Wiggins knows nothing about 
he remained an anti-vaxxer and is unmoved. Poole notes, if Wiggins remains unvaccinated, they will have to remain at least six feet away from members of the public for the entire duration of the event. Let's be honest and let's be real. There's nobody that's standing six feet away from anybody in the public. Go to the grocery store and you will see people still bumping shoulders, rubbing elbows in the grocery store, going to the restaurant with your mask on. You sit down, you take it off. There's somebody two inches away from you. Let's be real. Provide the business, governmental entity or other organization hosting the event with proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within the 48 hours before the event and wear a well gitted mask at all times except while actively performing or playing. Nothing in my view matches the team player mantra like taking up a roster spot and potentially only playing in half of your team's games because you feel like damaging your team's chances of, well, winning. Super liberal dweebs like this are just jealous that they never got a chance to play high school basketball or whatever sports they had interest in. So they take out their anger and envy on athletes that have the quote unquote privilege to do whatever they choose in their eyes. It is what it is. That's why you have to watch out for the super liberal Caucasians. They are like a fox, as Malcolm X has stated years ago, but pro blacks and all of the other individuals seem to not get that. Not to digress, but... That's what matters, I guess. A basketball game. That's what's important. Missing half of the games. Not your principles, not your values, not the example that you're trying to set for your kids if you have some or the youth in your family. None of that matters because we want to control you. We want to tell you what to do. We want to control your emotions because we know you're so emotional. The black woman is so emotional. We already got her on the hook. All we need is you, black man, to conform to what we got going on. <laughs> Last year, they called them all role models. It's brave that you guys are taking knees. Black lives matter. Let's put the fist up. Be on the lookout for super liberal Caucasians like this dweeb, man. It's enough of that. I'm out.